It is very difficult to say because uh, it's a proposal with, without sort of a detailing uh, yet. But the thing is that a union built on the rule of law uh, is also reflected in, in the way we do uh, merger control. Because every company is in the same process, every company has the same rights uh, of procedural fairness, uh, every company knows that they can go to court. Uh, if they want to complain about our decision, that could be a competitor, that could be the companies themselves. So, of course, if you introduce uh, sort of political discretion in such a system, I think it becomes maybe sort of more uh, unsecure for a company to know, well, how, how am I supposed to, to maneuver this system? Uh, because one of the important things when, when you're dealing with uh, a merger control procedure is that you know exactly the steps so that you can prepare yourself, that you know what you want to put up if there is a competition concern and you will have to remedy it. So, uh, so it's difficult to say, but there's a lot of good things to be said about a predictable system where you know every step and where equal treatment is on the very fundamentals. Still on this case, on the back of uh, your decision on the Alstom and Siemens deal, some opponents said that your decision really risks having European companies falling behind China and the Chinese companies. What can the European Commission do to support European companies in this race against China? Well, when we ask for, for fair competition within Europe, uh, and this is what we do because it serves uh, both sort of the business customers and us as consumers very well and have done so for many years. Of course, if European businesses are met with unfair competition in the global market, we want to stand up for them. Uh, and there's a number of things that we can do. Uh, I think it's about time Europe becomes somewhat more hard-nosed as to how we'll do that. Uh, both sort of when we work with other countries, uh, I have a dialogue with China on harmful subsidies. My colleague Cecilia Malmström has tabled reforms of the WTO with uh, US colleagues and Japanese colleagues. Those two things will not change things sort of overnight or in the next six months. So of course we have to do more. Uh, one thing to screen foreign direct investment uh, to make sure that when investment happens you don't have security issues that you are more precise when it comes to procurement. When people are invited to come and do business here when there's public procurement, well, we would want European businesses to be invited to do the same kind of business in your country so that there is a reciprocity. Uh, if you can do things here, I want to do things with you. Uh, so a number of things to step up uh, sort of our role when it comes to also a global level playing field. How urgent do you think that is? Well, I think it is quite urgent. Uh, we've been pushing for this for some time, and I think one of the uh, sort of side effects of the Siemens Alstom decision is that there's been a much stronger push for Europe sort of to see itself more confident uh, in a world where uh, we should see uh, uh, sort of the world around us, not always just as partners, but also as strategic competitors. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.